Unfortunately, we've seen some uh, some books in some of these libraries. I mean, you're talking about kids in middle school. Some of the stuff that has ended up there, incredibly, incredibly disturbing stuff. In the years since Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed that bill into law requiring school districts to review every book available to students. In the years since then, Florida's school districts have pulled thousands of titles from classroom library shelves. Some of those incredibly disturbing books include Roberto Clemente, Pride of the Pittsburgh Pirates, a picture book about the Baseball Hall of Famer that mentions racism. It was pulled because racism could be considered one of the divisive concepts banned by DeSantis's law. Now, that book was reinstated in February, but there was also this children's book, When Wilma Rudolph Played Basketball, about an American Olympic gold medalist. It included this description of life under segregation, and one teacher complained that the book might make white students feel white-shamed. That book was eventually reinstated after a review. But the next book that could be on the chopping blocks? The Courage to be Free, Florida's Blueprint for America's Revival. Florida Democrats have decided to follow blue the blueprint Governor DeSantis laid out in his vaguely written curriculum transparency law, and they have complained to 50 counties in the state of Florida about the book's potentially divisive concepts. For example, DeSantis uses the word woke 46 times. He sprinkles in the phrase gender ideology 10 times. He also describes systemic racism and summarizes the 1619 project. All of that could run afoul of DeSantis's very own law. So far, one school district responded to Florida Democrats' complaint, saying they don't yet have the book. By my count, that is one response and 49 more to go. 49 to go before we might see Ron DeSantis' author get a taste of Ron DeSantis' governor.